Hey everyone, welcome back or to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new to my channel, then hi, hello, welcome. And my name's Sorrel. And normally on my channel, I do quite a few thrifting videos, but obviously we're in a lockdown in the UK at the moment, so they're not open. So I thought, why not try on all of my thrifted clothes? So literally every single item of clothing I've got from charity shop or a car boot sale, it's on my bed right now. And I never, I didn't realize how many clothes I actually had from charity shops until now. I wanted to do this video, one, to show you guys what amazing pieces you can get from the charity shops for such good prices. So it give you an idea of what you can find. Obviously you can find literally anything in a charity shop. And two, because I just wanted to try on all my clothes from the charity shops and see what I actually have. So I'm gonna split it all into categories. We're gonna have jackets and then jumpers, sweatshirts, that kind of thing t-shirts and tops, shirts and then bottoms. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. Let's get into it. So we're starting off with jackets, which also includes blazers. Jackets are one of my favorite things to look for in charity shops because typically brand new, they are more expensive than other items of clothing. I've paid no more than 15 pounds for a jacket from a charity shop and it was a blue one at the beginning and it was brand new with tags. I always look in both the men's and the women's sections for blazers or jackets. Obviously if you want a more oversized look, you're more likely to get something more oversized in the men's. However, I do also look in the kids section and this blazer here was actually one pound from the kids section. Car boot sales are also another really good place for blazers. I saw so, so, so many sellers there with so many blazers. Charity shops are also so good for stuff like gilets, which is a really big trend at the moment. So it's such a shame that they aren't open because I've seen so many. This one is actually Jed's, which he gave me about a year ago now. Onto jumpers, sweatshirts, fleeces, that kind of thing. I actually don't have too many of these because to be honest, I don't really find that many in there. I feel like in America, there's so many jumpers and sweatshirts, so many cool graphic ones, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't really find that many here, but these are the ones I do have. On the other hand though, I do have a lot of t-shirts and tops. I mainly look in the men's section for like graphic oversized t-shirts because I feel like they just tend to put them in the men's section and then in the women's section for more for like cardigans and vest tops and little tops like that. I also really like t-shirts that have paces on, which you'll see in a minute. Whether you're after cardigans, graphic tees, some basics, or you just want to experiment with your style, then charity shops are the place for that because most of these t-shirts cost me, or t-shirts on tops cost me about one to two pounds. As well as random tops, you can also find really cool things like this Harley Davidson t-shirt. I'd been looking for one for so long, so I was so happy when I found this and I just love the back of it. I've also found a few branded things like this Reebok top I think was about £3.50, an Adidas t-shirt for a pound and I found a Patagonia polo. Also again guys, don't forget to check the kids section because that's where I found this. Charity shops are literally shirt heaven. I always see so, 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 so many when I go. Again, men's section tends to be better for shirts in charity shops, but actually a lot of these shirts are from the Eastern Thrift Store. So I used to go to them a lot in year 11 and I've only been to one recently. But if you're in or around London, they do these one pound sales and that is where I got the majority of these shirts, including this quarter one, which I absolutely love. If you're not buying your shirt secondhand, then you're doing it wrong. You can find check shirts, striped shirts, and I love buying big oversized shirts because I think they're such a good beach to cover up and they also look cute. Again, skirts, shorts and especially trousers. It's just not something I really thrift a lot. I think it's because you can't really go for any size like you can with other stuff unless you're going to alter it that skirt at the beginning actually wasn't my size and i've taken it in but these shorts fit me like a glove however if you are after suit trousers i always see so 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 many in charity shops so this is the aftermath of trying on all those clothes i think that's the most clothes i've ever tried on all in one go. I did redo my hair about seven times in that video, but I just left it towards the end. I really hope this has inspired you some way to get to a charity shops when they open up or you know just shop secondhand. I have actually been doing a little bit of shopping on eBay, so I'm thinking of doing a video about that as well. Fingers crossed the charity shops will be open soon. Of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along on my first charity shop trip 
after lockdown and many others after that and we can shop for trends and stuff like that i just cannot wait i just want to get some really nice summer pieces i've really got like ideas in my head of what i want to look for for the meantime this will have to do so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye